I'm going back to work. Don't worry, I checked her out. Scenario. Agent falls in love with girl. Agent runs him up. Girl gets kidnapped. The other guys want to know the agent's source. What does he do? What do they do to the girl? Hmm? Is there a point to this? Yeah. Over your right shoulder. Us or them? How the fuck should I know? Does it really matter? You feel the need for a relationship? Get a dog. Channel 4. Hey, sir. Give us a hand with this mic, will you? You know, I'm gonna put your corsage on too, Miss Prime Queen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit on this and twist it. You're funny. Hanley. All right. We have confirmation. There's definitely a credible threat. We've got 20 minutes. You ready? Mason, you ready? Yeah. Now I'm ready. Com check. One, two. Good hunting. Copy. Hi there. Ambassador, I'm going to need your clothes. We believe there may be an attempt on your life this morning. Target is male. Caucasian, 35 to 40. You want to bet your life on that? No. I'm betting on you. This is it, Peter. I'm in the yellow building, green shutters, left of the clock tower. How many potentials? Too many. I don't like it. Call off the op. We don't have the coverage. We're not calling this up. Body armor is not going to stop a headshot. Been having these headaches anyway. Blue suit, two o'clock. Got him. He's moving. Hold your shot. Hold your shot. Check your line of fire. Don't shoot. No, he's moving on. Do you. not shoot! There is a man outside by the water. He says he knows you. Bonjour, 
That's it? No, hello, Hanley. Good to see you. It's been a long time. You still out of Berlin? Berlin? Christ, no. The action's moved, my friend. The front line is now in Belgrade. You look good. Better than him, at least. Cargan. Retirement got him fat. Not her, though. Oh, God. <laughs> Craig. They knew the risks. We all did. We ID'd the killer. Alexa the Moistria. Contract killer out of Moscow. She's cutting a swath through people who have no business dying. Agency thinks it's Arkady Fedorov killing anyone or anything that reminds him of his past. The guy's gonna be the next Russian president. What's this got to do with me? Out of her, Peter. After you left, she got very close to Fedorov. But she wants to come in. She has something on him. Something that's scaring even her. What? A name. Claims it changes everything. And if she's right, how long before you think she's gonna join these? You go in, you get her out. Moscow? to Petersburg. Cross the border to Helsinki. I'll meet you there. She asked for you. Only you. <laughs> she won't give you the name until you bring her out, right? She always was a ball buster. Интервью с газетой Московская правда. Репортер ждет вас. Пусть подождет. Пошли. Drones airborne. Exfil on standby. Monitoring. Уважаемые коллеги, лидеры, я пришел сюда, чтобы рассказать вам об ином мире. Мы больше не можем разделять людей и стран. Чтобы разрешить глобальные проблемы, мы
Вы это искали? Что вы без меня? М? Do you have a link to the drone? Yes, we do. Rendezvous with the extraction team in four minutes. We have eyes on the prize. Traveling northbound on Tavarskaya. Message received from Prize. We are five minutes from Exville. Langley's online. And what time is it there, Perry? You don't need to be on on this one. If our girls actually got something on Fedorov, a lot of people are interested. Our subjects nearing extraction location. Who? It looks like FSB. The Russians have made her. As that she got into. Whoever it is, it's not us. Oh, oh is Lucy? Hmm? She misses you. I miss her too. Both of you. We're tracking from parallel streets, plotting intercept location, Tverskoy Boulevard. Belgrade Control, Sin 42. Mason's got the ball. No. Perry, you can't. Belgrade Control, Send 42, Mason's got the ball. Up one. Gobby. 42. Confirm? 42 confirmed. Yes. Mira Filipova. Mira Filipova.
Peter, you're blown. She was one of ours, Weinstein. It was over when the Russians made her. We did her a favor. CCTV feed. What the hell's going on? Op 1, this is Control. Respond. What happened? Op 2, respond. It was Devereaux. It was goddamn Devereaux. What was he doing here? Who's Devereaux? Peter Devereaux, one of ours, active 77 to 08. He used to work with Hanley. I'm on the next plane there. Bring Mason in. Vasi, <laughs> not out of port. Filipova.
Smokey. I think this belongs to you. Come here, you dumb cat. Oh, I'm so sorry. She spent so much time in my apartment, she should pay some rent. She likes you better than me. W uh, would, would you like to come in for a cup of coffee? I, I just made some. Tastes like home. Sorry, work. Hello? I'm looking for Alice Fornian. Alice! Can I help you? Yes, hello. My name's Edgar Simpson. I'm an investigative journalist. I work with the New York Times. I want to talk to you about this man, Arkady Fedorov. He's a Russian politician. I'm researching a story on him. Нет. Why didn't you shoot? Here. Why didn't you shoot? Yes, Mr. Mason, why didn't you shoot? There was no threat, sir. The man who just assassinated your entire team is pointing a gun at you, and you say there was no threat. Devereaux was disoriented. He didn't expect to see me there. He was doing exactly what I would have done. We tried to kill him. He killed us. You gleaned all this in less than two seconds? Yes, sir. Question remains. Why didn't you shoot? Why didn't he shoot? You think you know Devereaux? Just let me find him. If I can talk to him, maybe I can stop this from getting crazy. You don't know him. I know how he trained you. No connections. But there were things in this world that mattered to Peter Devereaux. People he let inside, people he loved, perhaps. And we just killed a very important one. And now he'll come after us with everything he's got. That's how he's wired. He killed three of our people. The call is to terminate Devereaux. Do you have a problem? with the call. I do what I'm told to do, sir. Hard drive's okay. I think I've got something here. What do you got? That's what we're looking for. It's the last search that Hanley ran. Let's see what else I can find. Uh, everything's a real mess. What a clusterfuck. Okay.
Hi, hi. I got some stuff for you. Look, this girl, Mira, her eyes Belgrade, late 90s, UN refugee. She's processed by these two, then handed off to a social worker, this woman, Alice Furnier. Two or three other girls were friends. No, prostitutes, junkies. Last trace of your Mira was a decade ago. If she was anything like her friends, she's probably dead. Give me her. Here you go. She has lunch plans. To buy Ellen a restaurant. You're very welcome. Biometric match from Belgrade Airport arrivals coming up. This is four hours ago. There. You looked right at the camera. Yeah. I have the crew from Hanley's. They have something. Cleaners at Hanley's have a possible hit. Authorization and access codes positive. Go ahead. Yes, this is Jürgen. I need location information on a subject. Fournier. Alice. Cell number 7536542323. Search the location of this cell phone. Fournier. Alice, cell 75365423. Current location, Skadarska 32. I believe that's a restaurant. Thank you. How many on the station at Hanley's? Two. Call the other one. No answer. It's Devereaux. Still on. Thank you. Would you like something? Uh, water's fine. Thanks. So, let's talk about Arkady Fedorov. In the work I do, it's a name I hear a lot. But he's old news. Atrocities are like reality TV. There's always some new show for people to forget. Agreed. However, now Fedorov is about to become president of Russia. That makes him a person of interest to the world and to my publication. Now, when Fedorov was just a general, I'd say he was pretty much untouchable, but it's different now. He's, he's vulnerable. What? You don't think that makes him dangerous? Now, these guys always talk a big game, but at the end of the day, they're mostly men who just like the sound of their own voices. You want your story and your Pulitzer Prize, huh? You haven't seen what they're like when they come to us. Many are just girls, frightened girls. Have you thought about what your story might do to them? There are crimes Fedorov is guilty of. He needs to be exposed. Now, if the girls from your center are willing to talk to me, to tell me their stories. I help the victims. I don't use them for politics. These girls have been through enough. I'm sorry. Maybe your heart's in the right place, but nobody can stop Fedorov. Agreed to meet with me. 
must be some way you can help me. Excuse me. Are you Alice Fournier? Yes. Uh, there is a call for you in the office. They say your cell phone is not working. This way, please. Excuse me. Oh. Yes, hello? Stop, stay right where you are. Listen to me very carefully. The woman you're with is a killer. If she panics, you're a dead woman. <laughs> We've got the same phone number. How's it going? Actually, I'm a little busy right now. Can I call you back in a few minutes? Get the cell scanner. No, let's just talk, shall we? You can keep doing what you're doing. I don't mind. Scenario. Hard target with a female accomplice took a 30-second lead on me into a crowded venue. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your target. Male. Old. Used to have skills. Used to? Huh. He probably thinks he still does. Yeah, but he's arrogant, confident he'll evade. He's already made his first mistake. You really think six agents are gonna do it? Mm hmm? Tell me. Deborah. De Were they police? No. Sort of. Then who the hell are you? Who are you? What do you want? Let go of me! What's happening? I didn't do anything. I believe you, but they won't. Now, if you want to walk out of here, you're going to have to trust me. Okay? Call back. You're losing your perimeter. Too many bodies moving. You're losing control. Don't you want to know why I was in Moscow? What my orders were, who sent me? Keep them talking. Yeah, why don't you come in, Devereaux? We'll talk about it. No. This is my scenario. I make the rules. Come on, kid. Just give me enough to keep it interesting. Maybe I'll make a mistake. You owe me that much. I don't know you shit. Jay, give me your phone. Where am I? Come on, Mason. Where am I? Huh? The call is being broadcast through this phone. The scanner thinks Jake's phone is Devereaux's phone. That's why he seems so close. How many people have you killed, Mason? What, now? Or in the next five minutes? You think about it sometimes? Maybe you're having a coffee or a screw. You see a beautiful woman or a child. Then you remember all the lives you've taken. That way. It stops your cold, doesn't it? No, asshole. I sleep like a baby. 
No, I don't get you, Devereaux. I'm the one you want. Why not take your shot? Tempting. <laughs> Give away my position, though. I'm always willing to die for the cause, eh, Mason? Fear's the enemy. You taught me that. Yeah. Well, I haven't finished teaching you yet, son. Yet here I am about to take you down all the same. You're not gonna take me down, kid. You're a blunt instrument at best. No perspective, no knowledge. Keep talking, old man. This is humiliating. Embarrassing. Just like in Moscow. Huh? Isn't it? What is it, Mason? No one there to hold your hand? No one there to tell you to pull the trigger? He's still in the car. Where's the nearest parking lot? Someone's trying to head this way. So no regrets? Not one. <laughs> you know what? I don't give a fuck about the people I've killed. And if by some stroke of pure luck, you manage to kill me, then I won't give a fuck about that either. He's here. He's around here somewhere. That was quite a speech. You bring out the best in me. Gas, get back! Filipova. Where is she? How do you know that name? When was the last time you saw her? I don't know. Uh, maybe three years ago. I was her caseworker. A good friend of mine died trying to find her. I'm sorry. I have no idea where she is. The woman who approached you at the restaurant, she was a professional killer. Russian. The man on the motorbikes was CIA. CIA? Now, whatever that girl knows, a lot of people want it. And if they can't find her, you're the next closest thing. Do you have files on the women you help? Yes. We gotta catch this tram. Why do you hate him so much? The man who wants to kill us. Why do you hate him? Huh? I don't hate him. He's probably the best friend I've ever had. So all your friends try to kill you? Eventually. Where can I find her? I told you, I don't know. You must know something. Friends, places she frequented, people don't just disappear. I don't know, okay? In my line of work, yes. Yes, they do, they disappear. One day you think they're there, the next they're just gone. <sighs> she stopped coming to meetings. People said she was using, doing tricks. Do you know who this man is? A pimp. He brings girls in from the Caucasus, sells them for sex. His name is Lebedenko. No. His real name is Simeon Venesov. He was Fedorov's right-hand man during the last Chechen conflict. Do you know where he is right now? Yes. He's here in Belgrade. How do you know Denisov? Just people, you mean? I'm here to see Lebedenko. No. Just tell him Peter Devereaux's here. Wait. 
So, why are you here, Peter? I want information. Someone is here in Belgrade to kill you, and it's not me. I can tell you who it is, but I want something in return. Okay. You tell me. I go into that for all time's sake. Oh, Katie Fedorov. He's killing just about everyone who's close to him from your good old days. Now, my information is that he's going to try and kill you. Me? Yeah. So what's his deal? Why does he want to have a clean slate now? What's his game? Turn around. You should turn around just now. Chechnya. This ugly, dirty, little godforsaken country. Oil, however, lots of it. Filthy Chechen terrorists didn't want to give it to us. So, one day, a building blew up. Good Russian soldiers with mummies and daddies back at home get sent back in pieces. And just like that, Fedorov got his dirty little wall, and Mother Russia got it's oil. You dropped the building. Ah, uh, Fedorov was smart enough to know that he couldn't handle an operation like that. Keep it a secret. We ran it for you? It's to ask how. All we did was sit back and watch everybody die. Would you like some water? <laughs> Sorry about the treatment. If it makes a difference, I argued against it. You ran Peter Devereaux from 1998 until his retirement in 2008. On April 17th of this year, you went to Lausanne under the name Sanders and reactivated him. Show me your tits. Excuse me? I assume that's why Weinstein sent you, isn't it? It certainly isn't for your acumen. Fuck you. Well, you like being on top, working your way up the ladder? I like the other guys better. Where the fuck are the other guys? This room is soundproof. You don't think I know that? I approved the use and design of this facility. I wrote the manual you're going by. I know how long until you switch operational procedure, you stupid twat. You may know the procedure, but then you also know that I have the right to vary the procedure if I deem it necessary. Based on the tenor of this conversation, I am inclined to vary the procedure. You know what? I don't give a fuck about the people I've killed. And if by some stroke of pure luck, you manage to kill me, then I won't give a fuck about that either. That was quite a speech. You bring out the best in me. Not exactly accurate, that last statement you made. Keeping him engaged was an advantage, sir. Yes, to him. I don't know if he's too in your head, and maybe you're mad because you never had a daddy. I don't know, and frankly, I don't care. He played you for a fool. I'll get him. Will you? It doesn't feel that way from here, son. From here, it feels like you're busy trying to please him. Well, you still admire the man. I did. Well... Here's what he thought of you.
how'd you get in here? <sighs> All she wants is to be at your place. Oh my God, you're an ungrateful bitch. Mommy's gonna turn you into a handbag. Yeah, okay then. Okay then? What is that? We've been passing each other on the stairs for eight weeks. Who are you anyway? I mean, sure, you're mildly attractive and mysterious, but it gets kind of tired after a while, you know? I mean, I don't even know your name. David. Well, I'm Sarah. Did you ever think that maybe Mira is better, whatever she is? Your girl witnessed Fedorov and a CIA agent conspire to start a war that killed hundreds of thousands of people. So, whoever gets to her first owns Fedorov. And believe me, someone will find her. be like to be you. Take what you want. Do as you please. What happens if they come back? We leave. There you go. That'll do. happened in Moscow? Something unfortunate. What was her name? Natalia. Will killing him really make it better? It's a start. Why did you save me? Don't put your faith in me, Alice. I promise. I'll disappoint you.
Sati. Моя любимая. What did you say? Моя любимая. Means my favorite in Russian. You speak Russian. Yes. My parents were university professors. I found some clothes that should fit you. What if they find Mira before you do? Then no one will need you. Your problems will be over. They'll kill her, won't they? Yes. What if no one ever finds her? No one can hide forever. I can't bring you with me where I have to go now. So I can't protect you anymore. Go somewhere where no one can find you. Not even me. Use only cash. And wait for this to ring. Sarah? Sarah? David, I'm here. It's all right. Everything's going to be all right. He won't hurt you, understand? Let her go. Let her go. And you? What? Bullets start bouncing around? Tell him he needs to listen. Tell them. You need to listen. You know what he's doing, don't you? He's trying to decide what you're worth. He will not hurt you. Ask him if you're worth saving. Am I worth saving? He's not answering your question, is he? You need to make him answer your question. Am I worth saving? Yes! You are. You like 
America, huh? Time to finish your training. What the fuck can you teach me? You gave up on me, remember? What did you want? I wanted to be better than you. What does that mean? To be better than me. To be better at something? Mm -hmm. To be a better man? Why did you drop me? Oh, here it comes. I took the shot. What was I supposed to do? I had no choice. There's always a choice. Answer the fucking question. You made the wrong choice. <laughs> I came here tonight, Mason, to kill you. I did not know what she was to you. Oh, you thought this was about Natalia? No, this is about you. You can be a human, or a killer of humans, but not both. Eventually, one of those people will extinguish the other one. All you have to do now is just to show me that it's not too late for you. Come on! No! <laughs> Second chance, Mason. Scenario. No! Your target has just severed the femoral artery of a woman. No! Has just no! severed the femoral artery of a woman you have been intimate with. What do you do? No! 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 Celia, do you want to know what I did? I know what you did, Mr. Hanley. We're discussing why. No, you don't know what I did or what I do. Ergo, how the fuck could you possibly comprehend why? Let's start at the top. Look, what, what, what do you think it is we do here at the agency? We collect information. No, information is useless. That changes overnight. Knowledge isn't power. People are power. We collect people. And if anyone's listening at Langley, with half a brain in their head, they know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the ownership of Arkady Fedorov. Are you listening? Arkady Fedorov! Sir, welcome to the Hotel Imperio. doing here? Are you all right? What happened to you at the restaurant? I decided to tell you everything I know about Arkady Fedorov. Come in. You know he's in town right now, for the European Energy Conference. Staying at the Imperial Hotel? No, I didn't. I'm surprised to see you. Can I get you a drink? A cup of coffee or something? Uh, no, thank you. It's my wall of shame. There were hundreds of girls that came out of the conflict. We're a small organization. Let me get my dictaphone. There was one girl, Mira, pretended she was a mute. Fedorov liked her, kept her close to him, like a pet. <laughs>
Mason, David, access code three niner zero four two. the poor girl alone. What the fuck? Look, you move! Natalia didn't expect to see me in Moscow. She didn't even know I was coming. What did you do? Uh, she was... These past few months, she was acting erratically. Analysts thought she was becoming... A Bullshit! Person. It happened! So they decided to pull her. I couldn't get to her without them knowing. If she came to our side, she was going to die. Sending you was her only chance. Why? Huh? Why? Agency suspected for years that Fedorov started the war by dropping a building on his own men, then blaming it on the Chechen nationalists. Then Natalia reaches out to me, says she's got an eyewitness who will swear that Fedorov was involved. We did it! We did it! fuck you been talking to? Who you should have been talking to? Who wasn't on our side? Now, don't fucking lie to me. The same man who picked up Natalia's mayday to me, the same man who ordered her extraction, and the same man who quarterbacked the hit on her. Come in. Fevro has a daughter. Her name's Lucy. These pictures are from five years ago. She'd be 12 by now. Natalia Yulinov was her mother. And Devereaux raises her. When Devereaux was in Berlin, he recruited Natalia, convinced her to spy for us. He had a whole goddamn family hidden from all of us. Mira can destroy Weinstein. That's why he had Mason kill Natalia. That's why he's going after Mira. The girl wasn't a peasant or a mute. Both her parents were university professors. She could speak English and Russian. Everything that Fedorov said, she understood. to see Lebedenko. Why are you here? Peter Devereux needs a big favor. What do you got? This woman. Alice Fournier. Deceased. April 2005. Cancer. I knew she. She was in the restaurant with Devereux. I'll run a biometric match. Welcome to Hotel Imperial. Peter? 
Where are you? I'm going to visit Arkady Fedorov. Are you insane? I've made the decision to confront him. This is suicide. He will kill you. Don't be foolish. Mira? Mira! Who are you? I'm the gift from Semyon Denisov. What's this for? <clears throat> okay. Upstairs. So he's very generous. Get in the bed. I'd like to wash first. have an audio file match. Label's been changed. Border intake interview. My name is Mira Filipova. My parents were murdered by the Russian general, Arkady Fedorov. I survived. Arkady Fedorov is in Belgrade right now for an energy conference. I know where he's staying.
to kill me. You're wrong. No. If you were, I'd already be dead. You don't know what you're doing to you. This is for my family. Oh, my God. Nira. So many people who want me dead. And yet here you are. The angry little girl who didn't know how to fuck. <laughs> and now you talk. Shut up! Okay, okay. Maybe you will kill me. We will see. But making you into a woman, it is one of the sweetest memories I carry with me. <laughs> You tell us the world what he did. Where's your phone? Get it. Go get it now. Stop filming. Nineteen ninety-nine. You supported an American operation to impersonate Chechen terrorists. Who was the American agent who ran it? You'll sit on my shirt. <laughs> Mira, take this. Chew them if you have to. You are not going to kill me. That's for you to decide. We're gonna play a little game that I believe was invented in your country. I'll ask you once more, who was the American agent? <laughs> I'll ask you again. Was it Weinstein? Hmm? was the American agent? Was it Weinstein? Oh. Hanley. John Hanley. Hanley. Was it this guy? The guy in the middle? That's him. The bold guy.
service elevator. What about you? Check into the Hyatt Hotel. If I don't turn up, go to the Dutch Embassy. Identify yourself and tell them everything. Ask for asylum. Go. Jesus. You need to see something. Who was the American agent? Was it Weinstein? Oh. Henley. John. This is messed up. Henley. We're taking this to Weinstein right now. You stay. Tits, back to your desk. Sit. Do you know who sits here? Your boss sits here. I'm sitting here. So sit down. Disappear. I'll help you. Name is City. I'll get you there. I have contacts. People who can help you start again. People who can make sure you'll never be found. Not running ever again. Running. 
It's better than dead. Thank you, Peter, for saving my life. Letting you die was never an option. Come on. We gotta get moving. A lot has changed in a very short time. What were you doing a week ago? Living my life. And what's in Peter Devereaux's life? Simple things. A home in Lausanne. Small business. It's a cafe by a lake. And a daughter. Who never got to know her mother and who barely knows her father. What's her name? Lucy. She's 12. Where's she now? Waiting for her father to pick her up from boarding school. Never had you pegged for the father type, Peter. That's such a lovely little girl could come from your DNA defies logic. Really? You should say something. I'll kill you. If you hurt her, I'll kill you. Funny thing, Peter. Turns out the keys to Federoff are worth more to Langley than any qualms Weinstein had with my methods. I'm running the show here now, Peter. Weinstein's back in the States. And he seemed surprised when they sent him home, but uh, not as surprised as uh, you probably are right now. You know, if it's any consolation, it was your boy Mason who brought Lucy in for me. I just thought, well, you should be proud. He did good, didn't he? Found that soft underbelly. Wasn't sure you had one. Yeah. The boy did good. Okay, the fortress. 8 a.m. Where they play chess. You bring me Mira, I'll give you your daughter. You're a weapon, Mason. A damn good one. I value that. We gotta get out of here right now. Go to the train station. Book three tickets on the noon train to Junic. The border there is weak. He doesn't want you. He wants me. We'll meet you there. He doesn't want you. He wants me. We'll be there. And if you're not? Then I guess I didn't make it. They're gonna kill us all. How would it happen? You don't feel anything. How can you be so sure? A bullet travels at over 4,000 feet per second. Four times faster than the speed of sound. The effect of that velocity is absolute. You just cease to exist. Just be there. Three do you make a Attention, please. The train from Chachak is late by one hour. You tell yourself no one's going to get hurt. At least no one you care about. You played it well, though. Did I? 
You know what Fedorov's going to do when he secures the presidency? Change the world. Russia's gonna join fucking NATO. Why? Because I got my hands so far up his ass, I'm moving his lips. I own him. This is what we worked for all those years. You know it is. I think I got something for you here. Yes, she's at train station. Just bought three tickets to Unique with a credit card. She should be there. Thank you. You think maybe, just maybe, you might have crossed the line with this? A long time ago, my friend. You'll need proof of life, of course. Papa, is that you? How you doing, kiddo? I know you're scared. But everything's gonna be all right, I promise you. I just wanted to hear your voice. I tell you, I love you more than anything in this world. I love you too, Papa. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me. Okay. Where's Mira Filipova? Bus station. Bus to Novisad. 9 a.m. Bus station. Bus to Novisad. 9 a.m. Bring her in. Jones, you go with him. You misjudge the kid. He's a survivor. Not like you. No. Bring Mira in. You have my word. You'll have your daughter back. call you Peter the November man because after you passed through nothing lived you are one bleak motherfucker my friend Is that way, short time. Slow down. Slow the fucking car down. Seat belt. Stop the vehicle right now. Wall.
one American life was lost in that Chechen mess. Not one. Oh, you're right. No, East versus West, fuck that. From now on, it's the civilized world against the goddamn Middle East. Now that's a fight I can understand. That's a fight we can win. Don't you get it? Hanley. What? Why are you sweating? Because it's fucking hot. Where's Lucy? You were supposed to bring her here when it was done. It is. us to another decade of conflict of shit i hope you know that the thing is i like it this way thank you papa Catch a train. Come on. My name is Mira Filipova. When I was 15 years old, Arkady Fedorov murdered my family and held me captive for two years. I was repeatedly abused by him. During that time, I witnessed Fedorov conspire with CIA agent John Hanley to bomb a civilian building. That bombing was the start of the Second Chechen War. The revelations of Chechnyan refugee Mira Filipova rocked the political world as evidence of a conspiracy between Arkady Fedorov and a high-ranking CIA official effectively ended Arkady Fedorov's candidacy for the Russian presidency. Russian MG minister's office issued a blank denial of all accusations as Arkady Fedorov takes an extended leave from his office while weighing his Baza. political options. <laughs> <laughs> 